Hello all and welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. In today's video, I am going to organize my utility area which has become an eyesore and I was procrastinating doing it for long. I have a whole utility organization video on my channel already which I'll link it up. This is the second time I'm doing it. Since this area is used the most in the house, it automatically gets messed up really fast. This is my utility area which is adjacent to the kitchen. It's 50 square feet in size. It's where my dishwasher, washing machine, a rusted dish drying rack, gas cylinder, mop bucket, potato onion trolley, dustbins, a cane basket and a drying mat to dry things on and all other cleaning supplies are kept. In short, it was very messy. Let's start with taking everything out. There were things which didn't belong here. There was also an old broken chopping board, plastic bowls which I wanted to replace with steel bowls, also an old planter pot etc. It was very important to change this rusted dish drying rack. There was a lot of hard water stains on this black granite countertop which I will try to remove with citric acid, baking soda and vinegar. I'll spray that and leave it on for about 30 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm going to clean the under the sink cabinet. It had become very disorganized with time. I'll empty everything from there and start cleaning the surface of the cabinet which had so many marks. I initially had this drawer liner underneath but then I had to remove that when we called the pest control so that he could spray each and every area. So now it has nothing. I will declutter the things I don't use at all. Now I will place back the wire basket shelves first and then arrange the bathroom cleaning caddy. I will also make a basket out of a curtain and place rest of the cleaning supplies on it to make it look a little more tidy. This place looks so much better, a lot tidier and organized. Now let's get back to scrubbing the countertop. Honestly, it's wet so you can't see the marks but it's so bad. I tried really hard but couldn't get rid of them. I think we may have to call the professional cleaners later when we move home. I will first place the big drying rack which I or my maid uses to dry large utensils or utensils which normally I don't put it in the dishwasher. I replaced the old drying rack with this wooden rack from Amazon. This didn't come with a tray so I'm placing a drying mat so that waste the dripping water can fall on that and I can also remove it from time to time to dry it. This rack is where I have kept our everyday plates and bowls. I'm also replacing my old plastic soap dispenser with this glass bottles from IKEA. They are priced for 59 rupees each and I thought it was the cheapest one in the market. I initially kept them as it is on the countertop but suddenly I realized I had an old basket which could hold these items and make it look more tidier. Let me take some time to mention Skillshare who are the sponsors for today's video. A lot of you have asked me how I shoot and edit my videos. Only thing I have to say here is that I have learned most of the basics on my own and trust me it took a lot of time to learn and improvise on our video skills.
Recently, Skillshare reached out to us and introduced us to their classes. I have always been wanting to learn advanced editing skills on Final Cut Pro, and I found several classes on Skillshare which gave me a lot of learning. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes on any skill that you might be interested to pursue. In fact, Parth is taking some classes with Jevan Dovi, who is a filmmaker and YouTuber on how to vlog. He is new to this and he says it has been quite helpful for him. You can join classes on many interest areas like gardening, home organization, photography, videography, creative writing, productivity and entrepreneurship. Best part is that these classes are curated specially for learning meaning there are no ads and they are always launching new classes curated by industry leaders so you can stay focused and follow these classes as per your interest. Skillshare classes are designed to help you explore what you are genuinely interested in and the entire access as a member is offered to you at a membership fee of less than 2400 a year which equates to less than rupees 200 a month this price if you compare is less than most of the entertainment platforms that one currently access in case you are interested please join the community with a one month free trial the link is in the description box also the free trial is available for only the first 5000 viewers who join through the link I hope you guys find this interesting and decide to join this community to enhance your learning with Skillshare. Let's get back to the organization part. I have read that potatoes and onions are supposed to be kept in a cool dark place and my utility is very sunny most of the time. Hence this potato sprouted which may be toxic to body research says. To avoid that I'm going to replace this rack with something I can place in my main kitchen countertop. I will also place a liner underneath so that the onion peels doesn't make the jar messy. I am going to be creating some space on the right side corner of my kitchen countertop where the rice cooker stays. Now I am going to use an old fabric which was there in the house and I will stitch it to make space for the curtain rod to go in. And here is my curtain ready, inexpensive and functional. I will use this to put it in the area where I keep my cylinders, mop bucket and laundry basket which is not a great side visually. This will help to hide that and give the whole space a more cozy look. The top of my washing machine and dishwasher collects so much of dust every day. Since the utility window opens up near this appliances, it makes the dust worse. But this area gets the most sunshine throughout the day. So I like to sun dry things here. And it's all done final look time happy with how this has turned out this is very satisfying to me kitchen is my happy place i spent most of my time here and i really enjoy it so it's very important that i keep it organized and tidy Cleaning and organization is done and we were very hungry since it was lunch time so I decided to take a shower and cook and eat. I'm making a whole roast chicken today. I had pre-marinated and meal prepped the night before so hopefully this won't take much time. I'm also making some fried rice and Caesar salad along with it. It's a Sunday today so it's kind of a fancy food situation here.
the chicken looks so good and here's my treat for the hard work My utility generally gets a lot of sun compared to other parts of the house so it's a good place to grow a kitchen garden but I'm extremely bad at maintaining plants and hence it's only few succulents and other plants that I have here Today I'm also going to plant the lick stem in soil that I have been growing in water for some time it said that it grows better in soil than water let's see how it goes for me This is also where I do my laundry so it's my extended kitchen plus laundry room I also need to wash the vegetables I got yesterday I will use a sink stopper to fill the sink with water and then add some vinegar to the water This will help to clean the vegetables since vinegar has antibacterial properties This area of my utility gets good sunshine so I'm going to keep the veggies to dry well here before storing it in the fridge. It's good to dry this drying mat underneath in the sun so that it doesn't form fungus with time. The vegetables have well dried and I'm going to put them in the fridge. One of my viewers suggested that if we rub some oil on the lemons, it stays fresh for longer. So I'm going to try that out. Today's dinner is soya keema aloo fry and roti. I'm going to fry the onions and potato cubes first and then add the tomatoes and masala like jeera, dhania, red chilli powder, turmeric, salt and garam masala. Then I will add the soya granules and fry them all together. It feels so much better to be in this tidied up utility psychologically even if it wasn't a major change. A lot of you have asked me why doesn't Parth help me with the household chores? So, he does obviously we divide the household work between both of us equally. However, at times he has to be behind the camera because he is very good at it and he has a lot better idea of the camera angles and the lighting etc. Just like a professional, I can only say that I wouldn't be doing YouTube today if it wasn't for him. And that's all for today's one. I hope you liked it and I hope this has motivated you to clean up a space in your home too. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon with a new one. Bye.